What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTW BRB, and welcome back to more Total Extreme Wrestling Mod Spotlights where we are playing as WWF in the year 1998. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong this time and I don't bump into my little USB device and my microphone doesn't work because that would suck. That would suck. I might actually. Yeah, I was going to press my little side thing here just to test every once in a while. So we have an incident here involving Mike Chioda. It was like the last person I expected, but apparently he lifted the locker room when he organized and won a video game tournament. Bringing some N64 to work there, Mike Chioda. Possibly some Sega Saturn. Maybe a, maybe a Sony PlayStation. Good guy, Mike Chioda, everybody. I kind of want to try to do something with X-Pac tonight, just because even though he's injured, we can use him for angles, and I want to do something with him. But that's if we can get to that, or if I can even think of something, because I also want to build storylines. So one of the things I wanted to do is I want to have um, The Rock cutting a promo on D'Lo Brown, and I, oh gosh... I do that all the time, I know, not much of a surprise, but it's going to lead into something, so we're going to have Rock, you know, eh, let's do like you know, five minutes cutting a promo on D'Lo, and then we're going to go straight into a modern TV, modern TV, I guess, modern TV opening, where The Rock will be interrupted by Ahmed Johnson, and that'll set for a match later tonight, so I'll have that go on for like eight minutes. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Ooh, had to sneeze. My apologies there. And let's just get right to that match. By the way, uh, this is not how the show is being booked in order. Um, this is just me throwing things up that I know I want to do. And I'm going to, like, organize it at the end. So let's do Rock versus Ahmed Johnson. Out of curiosity, I want to see both their momentum. So they both have a C momentum. Um... When have these two fought in a one-on-one -on -one bout yet? They have not, actually. And I believe you both are actually considered main event talent, so we could have you guys go the full 15 minutes. I'm just going to go 13 minutes with Rock getting the victory. We're going to keep Ahmed Johnson strong. It's going to be open bout. Might even have him work the crowd. I don't know. And let's go to exact finishes. Outside interference. Not interference, let's do distraction. Distraction finish, Ahmed Johnson getting distracted by Farouk. European title is not going to be on the line. And then let's do... Save from two-on-one attack. And it'll be D'Lo Brown coming out, saving Ahmed Johnson from The Rock and Farouk. See, these two kind of feuds have kind of like came into each other. We'll say D'Lo came out with like a steel chair or something. Something like of that sort. So that covers both these two feuds. What do I want to do with light heavyweight mayhem? So last week I did a six-man tag bout. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll have Salvio Vega. Yeah, because he's the one with the mic skills. So let's do like... How many people is in that feud, by the way? I believe it's just five other people, right? Yeah. So let's go promo, not post-match, where, well, let's just clone this, not rated, not rated, subject, subject, off-screen and off-screen. Superstar cuts a promo on his upcoming six-way match. Commentary. Cuts a promo hyping their upcoming six-man match with Money Symbol F2. Money symbol F3, and the other ones are there. I don't know why it's the money symbol F, but whatever. So, person one, not with an X, what the hell? Cuts a promo hyping their upcoming six-band match with person two, three, four, five, and six. 
we just need to put a space mark here. A space mark. Uh, type some gibberish in. And there we go. Savio Vega, I believe, is the one with the most, um, not most, but the best, uh, best, what's the word I'm looking for? Microphone skills? He Entertainment skills? You know what I'm trying to say. Jerry Lynn, El Chupacabre, and who's the other guy, unfortunately? Agula. I don't know Agula that well, though. Aguila, so Salvio Vega promo on light heavyweight mayhem. I'm going to try to start typing more of these things in just because it adds a little bit more to the, uh, I think, um, the story. Give him a five minute promo. That should be enough time for him. Okay. And then I kind of want to do like a tag team belt. Where it'll be Taka Minchinoku and Jushin Thunder Liger versus El Chupacabre and Aguila. Taka's got some good momentum on his side, I believe. Uh, what? <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so have you guys go at it for not five minutes. I feel five minutes is like. Just not enough time for a match. We'll have, believe it or not, I'm going to let Agula. Who, who's, who's lower on the card? You're a lower mid, and you're an opener, so that's fine. Let's give Agula the victory over Jushin Liger, and we're also gonna have. We'll do distraction finish, where Taka gets distracted by Savio Vega. Let's just make this a open bout. Let's keep Jushin Thunder Liger strong. By the way, where is Jushin Liger? Is he considered lower mid carter? He is, and you're a mid carter, right, Talk? No, I didn't want to do that. Mid card, that's what I thought. Cool. All right, all right. So, moving on. Need to do something with Owen Hart and Triple H. Last week we had. Austin saving Owen Hart from the beatdown, so I'm thinking what we should do here is a modern TV opening. Actually, I wanted to do this. I know I did. Going to have the show start off with Stone Cold coming down to the ring, cutting a promo on Shawn Michaels. Have them go for the full... Let's just do the full 10 minutes. All right, Austin, you can be without a script. There we go. And I feel like what I would like to do... I think Mr. McMahon's actually currently on vacation, is he not? Or are you, are you here? Is he here? Oh, he is here. Cool. Have him come back. So, where's, like, authority? And, yeah, we'll do this. So, Mr. McMahon comes out. Tells Steve Austin. He, you know, he's furious about the whole, uh, the previous match and all that good jazz and basically saying tonight if he doesn't win his match he'll be fired well not well, this isn't really a fired thing I mean I don't want him to be like you know that's stupid you can't fire him I don't want to have like an abuse of power but I definitely want to have the handicap stiff in there because it's going to kind of lead in you to Austin having to find a mystery partner or something I think we all know where this is going so let me just clone this if he, boom. Just take out that whole fired part. Test. He says he's booking a two. Alright, cool. Type in some jib. There we go. So Mr. McMahon comes out. 
tell Steve Austin that tonight, handicap bout, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels unless he can find a partner, all that fun stuff. I think that'd be fine for like seven minutes. There we go. And then I'm going to do the his reveal of a mystery partner. Steve Austin, and he reveals it to be Owen Hart. What a shock, everybody. Ah, Have that be for like three minutes. Oh my gosh. So many people like, I don't want to have script, all that jazz. Tag team bout. Steve Austin, Owen Hart, Triple H, Shawn Michaels. I'm almost positive I've actually done this kind of match before, like with these exact... Oh no, it had Alma Johnson in it. Cool. So I've actually never done this match. We'll let you guys go the full 15 minutes, of course. And part of me wishes that I could do this. Let me just see. Can I? See, that's what sucks. He's only available for angles. I would love to have like X-Pac do like a run-in distraction kind of thing. But I can't do that, unfortunately. Um... thinking let's have Shawn Michaels get the victory over Owen an open all out bout and we'll have manager interference and let's not do manager interference I have an idea what we'll do is we'll have Steve Austin get distracted by Mr. McMahon and that'll settle that Alright, so that gets those two storylines in there. Need to do something with this. Have I done, um... I don't know if I've done the Dudleys in them. Let's do that match. I think that'd be a cool match. And then it'll be Ken Shamrock and Steve Blackman versus... Actually, you know what? Let me just do this. Get off the faces, please. Jeez. Dudley Boys versus the winning combination. What the? Not Steve Austin. Steve Blackman. Winning combination versus the Dudleys. Have them go at it for eight minutes. I believe I've had you guys fight many times, actually. Only two times. And I'm going to give it to Bully Ray. We're going to keep Ken Shamrock and... Steve Blackman strong. It's going to be an open bout. And there's going to be outside interference from, of course, you guessed it, Rodog and Billy Gunn. And I guess we'll have Steve Blackman take the loss. Steve Blackman, don't do this. I kept you. You know what? What if we just not book anyone to lose? Oh, Steve Blackman, don't be that guy. All right, let's protect Steve Blackman. Ken Shamrock wasn't being that guy, but Steve Blackman, why'd you got to be that guy? Push this up here. Definitely want to have like this go on, like maybe around there. Probably gonna put something between these two, just so you know. What storylines? Thinking mankind, boom, right there. Promo from mankind on Vader. Why is it not going to promo? There we go. And I want to emphasize that he's definitely talking about the past. So let's say Mankind remembers his past with well, W slash Vader. I'm just going for like a seven minute promo. Put that between these two. Probably going to have Vader in like a squash match. Um, I need to figure out. Oh, I remember.
going to have a challenge. And it's not going to be out in this front of the stage. It's going to be Ultimate Warrior challenging RVD to a match next week, basically. Backstage. Put that like... Oh, no, 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 where'd that go? There it is. Put that afterwards here. That's just a test to see if Warrior is just good on the mic and horrible in there. Oh, man, I'm always, like, confused with this feud. Let's do just a manager thing, and this is going to be after, like, Kane's match, because I'm going to have him in a match. So where's it is? Hype my manager. It'll be Paul Bear hyping up his match again. Well, not his match, but Kane's upcoming mount or bout, not mount. Forget me. I'm I'm speaking just gibberish. A five-minute little promo afterwards. Let's add that match in real quick. Whenever you're ready. Okay, there we go. Kane. Oh. Exclude booked. It's a good upper mid card faces. Not D -Lo, Possibly Animal. You know what? Actually, boom. I got somebody. Blackjack. Windham. Go on for eight minutes. Kane gets the victory. Decisive and kept strong as well. Okay, I got time. What other... Do I have all the storylines? I think I do. So the really only other thing I wanted to do was evade or squash, and then maybe I'll throw something else in. Vader... Possibly. In fact... Sorry, Shane Helms. Have you guys fought? Nope. Enjoy. Vader. Domination decisive. Mm, where do I want to put this? There you go. That's fine. We'll put that right there. Look at the analysis real quick. Who haven't I used? I haven't used The Undertaker, but that's fine. Anybody else? I guess I would like to have Rob Van Dam in action, but solely on the pre-show. So let's go... Rob Van Dam, who do we want RVD to fight? You're considered a mid-carder, so... Let's do RVD versus... Definitely not Bob Holly. We've seen how that one goes. RVD... You know, let's do RVD versus Jerry Lynn, because this might help Jerry Lynn out a little bit. And I know these two have had... Pretty good match in the past. Yeah, they, well, not it's a 48, but who knows? Give you two eight minutes to work on the pre-show with RVD getting the victory. My apologies if you hear my phone going off in the background. Let's make this an open work the crowd kind of bout. Let's also make it a decisive victory. All right. Anybody else do I want to have on there? Jeff Jarrett, Goldust, Mosh, and Midian. Oh, you know what I forgot to do that I think I'm going to do just real quick? Let me... Well, first, would you like to go back? Go over here. Oh, I can't do it yet. Well, what I was going to say is I want to schedule to see if um I could uh, put... um. Sable on to Brian Christopher to see how they how they do together. But other than that, I think I actually have a uh, pretty good show here, if you I do say so myself. Have the full segment, so um, I can't even book a little bit of a celebration thing at the end here. So I think, let me just review and make sure I have everything like where I want it to be. Alright, yeah, that seems pretty good. So let's uh, run this show. Welcome to the nerds and geeks who click the annotation to skip ahead, and let's see how we've done. 
Oh, crap! Wow! That is actually way better than I was expecting. Wow! A 73? Jerry Lynn's a freaking lower mid-carder, I think. Good job. Good. Wow. So I'm a little upset this was on the pre-show. You two are definitely having a few. Jerry Lynn's going to be a personal project. Good action. Not much way in heat, unfortunately. RVD defeating Jerry Lynn with a frog splash. Lynn's improving in performance. These two put on just an amazing bout. And they have great chemistry, which is what I remember. And then we start... Oh, wow. This did amazing as well. Start off the night with Austin coming out, cutting a promo on his... WrestleMania bout with Shawn Michaels coming up. And he's interrupted by the returning McMahon. Mr. McMahon, who was injured in the bout against Stone Cold at No Way Out, comes out. And he's practically saying that he could have Austin fired for what happened. And the only thing that is preventing McMahon from firing Austin is the fact that they signed a contract. But he's still Austin's boss. And tonight, Stone Cold is going to be in handicap action if he's unable to find a tag team partner against Shawn Michaels and Triple H of D-Generation X. And he improvised well. So that's awesome. And I got a 96. is even more awesome. McMahon, thank you so much. And then we go to, you know, just Salvio Vego cutting a promo. You know, I should have done this afterwards. It would have made sense since he distracted. But whatever. Cutting is, a, you know, an upcoming promo on the six-man match he's going to be having at Mania. And this leads to a... I know, never mind. Because it's not, they're not right after each other. Good match. Not much way in heat, of course. Dudley Boys defeating the winning combination when uh, Bully Ray defeats Ken Shamrock by pinfall after hitting the 3D with, of course, Dirty Devon and following interference from both Rodog and Billy Gunn. So this continues the feud between these two. And also, Ken Shamrock is improving in flying skills despite the fact that I don't think there's a single person in this match who is a flying person. Whatever. Mankind cutting a great promo on a... Vader making sure, you know, he's just reconciling about the past, remembering the past wars he's been through with Vader, and he's thinking about the future war he's about to go through Vader at WrestleMania. So, um, so far it's looking really good, nerds and geeks. And whatever. Then we have this. So, uh, solid in ring action, no crowd heat, of course. El Chupacabra and Agula defeating Taka and Jushin Thunder Liger. When Aguila defeats Jusen Liger after blatantly cheating. I thought I had a run-in from Savio Vega. I guess I decided against that. Or maybe I just forgot to put it in. Aguila got a horrible rating on his Thrill Seeker gimmick that only got a 21. Kind of makes me wish El Chupacabre would have won the match. And he's also improving in performance skills. I like El Chupacabre, nerds and geeks. I like him a lot. Or Halloween is what he's really known as. Warrior um, challenging RVD in the back did pretty well. Just a regular 63. And then we have Kane in the ring. Black, or at least Blackjack Windham's already in the ring. Out comes Kane. Not much way in heat, of course, but he defeats Blackjack Windham with the choke slam. Average match, of course. Any improvements? Nothing. Follows up with Paul Bear getting on the mic, hyping the upcoming bout between brother and brother at WrestleMania. And we come back from commercial break. Shane Helms is in the ring. And it's time. It's time. It's Veda time. And here comes Big Van Vader who just mauls Shane Helms. Just destroys him. And then The Rock comes out poking fun at D'Lo Brown. Even more times, you know. And then eventually this leads to Ahmed Johnson coming out basically telling The Rock. Rock is just self-conscious and embarrassed that D'Lo Brown beat him a couple weeks ago. And he doesn't have enough balls to step in the ring with D'Lo Brown again. And The Rock, you know, talks it on. And, you know, you want to talk about ball. Rock's got balls, you know, all that stuff. And then eventually Ama Johnson says, you got balls, Rock. Step in the ring with me right now. And The Rock, of course, not one to back down from a challenge, accepts Ama Johnson's challenge. Okay, not too bad. Some good action, average heat. Rock defeating Ahmed Johnson by submission, unfortunately. I, I kind of wish it wouldn't have been that. And we also had a distraction from Farouk. I was, I'd like to imagine Farouk runs down to the ring. Ahmed Johnson, who was about to beat the Rock, turns around, whacks Farouk in the head, only to turn around and get a rock bottom. One, two, three, with the great one picking up the victory. That's what I'd like to imagine. The game, unfortunately, did not put that on there. And then we see Ahmed Johnson getting beaten down by both Rocky and Farouk. And here comes D'Lo. D'Lo Brown coming down to the ring, saving Ahmed Johnson from a serious victory, or beating, not victory. 
And then uh, we see DX in the ring all ready for their match. Stone Cold comes out and says, I did find myself a tag team partner and reveals it to be none other than Owen Hart. Which leads to a tag team bout that got an 82. Thank you. Featured great action and a good crowd. DX defeating Steve Austin and Owen Hart. When Michaels defeated Owen with the super kick and pedigreed combo. I, whatever. That's fine. And we also had China interfere. I thought I put Mr. McMahon in here. Could have swore I did, but yeah, whatever. I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to imagine that McMahon came out and started distracting Austin, which led to Owen Hart getting the, you know, that. Triple H got a 96 on his cocky youth gimmick, which I enjoy that. Um, any worker improvements? Just Austin in the performing section. And there's no specifics to be made about the show. I think it's because we're still not in the growth. We're still stuck and we're not allowed to grow because we recently felt a cult. So that's why we didn't grow, but we probably should have. I'm super happy with that show, to be honest with you. That was actually a really good show. That might have been my best Monday Night Raw show. Not really pay-per-view. It might have been. I don't know. Let's check. That's been excellent. It really seemed the... Sh oh, look at that. This has to have been the best show. Feedback from viewers has been excellent, and it really struck gold with this show. Look at Nitro. Let's see. So we got a 82. They got a 80. We tied with Nitro, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, what was I going to check? Let me go um, here. And history. So let's look. All years... So, yeah, that was my best show yet. What? Okay, that was not my best show. I was about to say, what? So, what was this, an 82, right? Yeah, I don't think... So, I had an 82 on Raw before. It's not unheard of, but it's promising that actually I'm having some pretty good grades here. Uh, other than that, we do have a quick little email here. And... Uh, Everything was up, which is great. I want to look at the rivalries here real quick. It's got a 58, 57. Owen and Triple H is doing great. Vader and Mankind's doing great. Everything is really doing great. I'm super excited. You know, let's do some pre-booking real quick, shall we? Unless I've already have. Yeah, let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and put some matches in here. So we're going to have the winning combination battling the New Age Outlaws. We know that for sure. Oh, shit. New Age Outlaws, thy winning combination. We know we're going to do Owen versus Triple H. Owen Hart, Triple H. Uh, let's just book the light. Wait, damn. Light Heavyweight Mayhem. Where the hell would that be? It's here, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, it would be here. Ultimate X. Wow, look at that. Uh, where's Ladder? Let's do, yeah, Ladder sounds fun. And we'll do... Takamichi Noku, Salvio Vega... Jushin Thunder Liger, uh, Agula, Jerry Lynn, and El Chupacabre. I'm going to rename that like Lightweight Mayhem or something. Um, what else did we do? Oh. For those asking why haven't I put the Rock and D'Lo in, it's yet to be confirmed, to be honest. But this match is being officially announced. Ahmed Johnson and Farouk at WrestleMania. Should be enough. Let me just like look around. See if there's anything else that... Well, you know. Vader and Mankind's been practically confirmed. So let's go there real quick. And I'm going to be doing something that's called an Aussie rule. Because there's no chance for disqualification or anything like that. Mankind versus Vader... And then let's go to the... Oops, wrong one. No, that was the right one. Six-man bout. Where it'll be... Rob Van Dam. Dirty Devon Dudley. And Bully Ray Dudley versus... 
the Ultimate Warrior, Hawk, and Animal. So, Team Extreme versus Team WWF. Other, anybody else that's practically been confirmed? Oh, Taker and Kane. Schedule, not schedule, pre-booking. And here we go. The Undertaker versus Kane. And that's going to about do it, nerds and geeks. Um, I'm going to simulate ahead of time, just go to Shotgun Saturday night. Other than that, though, um, I'm not going to be putting this Shotgun Saturday night up until about WrestleMania. It's going to be, like, kind of weird. It's, it's going to be, like, just Shotgun Saturday night. Like, this one is going to be uploaded with next week's Raw because of just how it's kind of been right now. I am going to be uploading all of them together, though. So you are you saw like last week Shotgun Saturday night up with this Monday Night Raw. That's how it's going to be going on until like WrestleMania happens. So um, that's about it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'm sure as hell know I did because that was a great program. And I'll see you guys next week for uh, more time. We're actually getting really close close to WrestleMania. So uh, that's awesome. Other than that, nerds and geeks, I will see you guys later. Have a good one.